welcome to Cooking with Elliot. I'm your host, Elliot. Note to self, write new intro. A lot of people look down on Taco Bell like, ooh, it's gross, or the food's low quality, or oh, it's just fast food. But those same people have never had Taco Bell prepared by me. Regardless of what kind of cooking you're doing, it's always best to start with a little cocktail. Basically have to choose between scotch and uh, bourbon. I'm gonna go with scotch. Just to make things a little easier on myself. La Crizzle a Lemon. Here's the money shot. Cheers. The next thing I need is a chef's hat. Oh, well, well, well. Here goes nothing. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Nailed it. So the pizza pizzazz is one of my favorite appliances of all time. I use it for basically all of my cooking. <laughs> you mean reheating? I basically use it for all of my reheating. Fuck you, pal. One hard shell taco, one chalupa, one potato soft taco. I'm gonna open up each of these tacos scoop out any uh, cheese, tomatoes, lettuce, and set those aside. They're kind of soggy, they've been in the fridge for a while, so you're probably gonna hear some kind of squishy sounds as I remove the vegetables. Hard taco, same thing. And the cheese and the lettuce and the tomatoes are all valuable, don't waste anything. You're not filming my mouth when I make the sound effects, right? You should be like on a close up. Uh, who's editing this thing anyway? Ah, uh, forget it. We'll fix it in post. I asked for a car, I got a computer. How's that for being born under a bad sign? In my experience, it's best to put the potatoes right on the grill so they can cook a little bit more. A lot of times with potato soft tacos from Taco Bell in particular, potatoes are real kind of soft and soggy. And we don't want that. Well, you thought you'd get away, cheese. Think again. We don't have a sound effects budget, right? It's just me? Okay. So this is the pizza pizzazz. It's very easy to operate. Um, plug it in here. The thing will just spin. Um, this lifts off so it's easy to clean. Again, one of the best appliances ever. Man, I kind of want to just eat these cold. But, wouldn't be much of a cooking show. There are basically two settings. There's timer. I'm gonna crank this all the way up. 20 minutes. So this has two different uh, heating elements. One from up top, there's a heating coil, uh, sort of like a broil function, and then there's a heating element from underneath, uh, and I don't know how that one works. And then the uh, main thing is make sure everything um, is flat enough that it won't hit the coil. Because if your food touches this coil, you're gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. Actually, you can probably hear these potatoes actually landing on top of the surface here, if you listen real close. <coughs> Sounds like a T-Rex is coming. <coughs> it's okay if the potatoes fall to the floor, even if your floor is fucking filthy like mine is, because the heating elements will burn away all of the um, contaminants. <coughs> now we drink. Uh, the pizza pizzazz basically does all the work. Oh yeah, you can smell that sizzle. Since the tacos are a few days old, the lettuce and the tomatoes are maybe a little bit dated, and so I'm not gonna throw them out, I'm still gonna use them, but I'm gonna chop up some fresh um, lettuce and tomato. Romaine hearts, everybody loves those. Tomato. All right, you're hired. The meat cleaver, like Ali Ong had in uh, Big Trouble in Little China. You're really gonna hear a treat when this blade runs into that romaine lettuce. Shink, shink, shink. Ooh, it's a juicy tomato, you can hear it. Oh yeah, it's music to my ears. I'm gonna give everybody on the stage here a good flip. Um, you can kind of grab things with your bare hands as long as they're not coming right off of the heating coil. Ow, ow, ow! It doesn't hurt at all. 
Whiskey Dan. Now really the final uh, piece of the puzzle here is Taco Bell Mild Sauce. I absolutely love this stuff. I put it on everything, but it has to be, it has to be the packets you get at the store. So when you go to Taco Bell to purchase your materials for your own cooking show, make sure you get a shitload of these. We're closing in here, bro. So we did the world tour. We went to Scotland with the scotch. We went to France with the LaCroix. Mexico with the tacos. And now we're gonna visit Kentucky. Just a little bit of rattlesnake venom will get you. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, so the timer's about to run out. We did a uh, full kind of 20 minute cook. Apparently the kitchen's haunted. Good to know. Now you just sit down at a table if you have one. Uh, I like the floor, it's nice and cool. Two mild sauce right on there. I add so much sauce to my tacos that I don't really eat them, but rather drink them. It's nice to get the cheese right on there. Lettuce and tomato. <sighs> okay, I mean tacos fall apart basically in the first bite anyway. Try and get a hand under it, yeah, yeah. I just want one good bite before it breaks. A bon appetit. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty fucking good. And messy as all hell, which is what I want from my tacos. Mmm, 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 mmm. We got this shot. Hey, is this okay? And we're good. Over this chalupa. Now, since all the vegetables are kind of boring because they're vegetables, I'm gonna douche them with uh, more mild sauce. Look at that. That is fucking beautiful, dude. I don't often brag, but I'm pretty good at this shit. Mm. Uh, that is not part of this meal. My favorite part about tacos is the mess it creates. Like, it's all over your face, all over your clothes, like your hands are filthy. And there's no way around it. You just have to give in to the process. As Denzel Washington once said, embrace it because it's inevitable. Oh, I got a fart. Those refried beans move fast. Although these tacos are great to look at, you know, they're a work of art on their own. You could like take a picture of that and put it up in an art gallery and win first prize. Do art galleries have first prize? Oh no, it's been sealed shut. Hey, do you know how tortillas work? Let me educate you, my son. All right, come here, potatoes. Make it rain. <coughs> ah, forget you. Oh. It's the best potato I've ever had from a Taco Bell. <coughs> and I've had lots. Okay, that's all for uh, Cooking with Elliot, episode one. Taco Bell it was a great success. So successful, in fact. Oh, there you are. Mmm. And I'm gonna lie down and take a nap right here on the fucking kitchen floor. Mmm. <clears throat> See you next time. Bye bye. No, the potatoes are too soggy. Oh, oh it's just a dream. Oh. Note to self, clean kitchen. If you listen carefully, you can probably hear my stomach gurgling. <laughs> Why it sounds like a chainsaw. Hey, wait! No, 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 no! Ow! Hey, watch the spine!